Crazy, crazy update video. <laughs> I feel like I just did one. I think yeah, I did just do one, but there's even more stuff that comes out now. It's like you finish one and then you find out real quick that there's more stuff. So I guess it's that time of year. Usually this time of year is when everything kind of calms down. Everybody settles in and waits for like uh, spring and summer and all that stuff. But there was stuff that was just announced. Uh, so we're going to head into Ocean City and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It is windy today. You can see all the white caps. This is the St. Martin's River. I'm about to go into the bay on the next bridge, but there's a lot here. That means the next bridge is going to be crazy. Whoa, whoa. Big rollers out there. That is insane. We had a really uh, bad uh, rainstorm that came through yesterday. Wasn't as bad as what they said it was going to be. But it definitely came through for a couple hours and then the wind, we're under a gale uh, wind warning right now. But that's, <laughs> that's pretty wild. The other side's not too, too bad. Just because the bridge blocks a lot of the wind, but you can definitely see all the rollers. It's crazy. First up is roses right behind me. It's no like new news. Everybody's known about it for a while. But with them, what they're doing is they're going to bulldoze it and turn it into an Acme supermarket. Now, this whole, like, shopping plaza is 17 acres. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do with the Acme over there. The bluefish is definitely staying. And Roses is going to be completely demolished. And then a new Acme is going to be built. I do know that that, that building is pretty old. Uh, but Roses has been here for over 40 years. So it's gonna be disappointing to see them go. However, they are looking for a new place in Ocean City. So are they gone for good? I don't know. Um, curious to see. They said that management is looking for a new place to put another roses. So I hope they do. It's gonna be odd driving by here and not seeing roses anymore. I pass here all the time. And uh, yeah, it's kind of one of those like staple kind of places. You know what I mean? So I don't know. We'll see. It's going to, it's this whole thing again, it's 17 acres. It'll be divided up into four uh, sub units or sub uh, four lots, I guess. So I don't know what they're going to do. They said it's still in the planning right now. So, all right, head to the next one. Well, I'm driving to the next one. There's a gym inside Gold Coast Mall and that just got taken over by, I think it's Pure Fitness. So that was a new one there. Gold Coast Mall, a lot of those stores, they, they change a lot. So sometimes it's a little hard to keep up with who's, uh, who's coming and going. Behind Hooked is the restaurant, The Hobbit. I heard that place is really, really good. That's on our list to try. Here's uh, By the Bay Creamery. This used to be, I think, The Hungry Seagull. I did, I did an update on that one a little while ago. It kind of, it just here today, gone tomorrow type thing. There's a long line at Bayside Skillet. That was crazy. Uh, last I knew, House of Pancakes is still for sale. It's still open, but it's still for sale. Here's the new fire station. That's right in front of the police station. They've been working on that for a little bit. And, uh, another update for Rosenfels. This is their last summer here, and it's right here. Uh, the building had a lot of work that has to be done to it. It's a pretty old building. The owners of the building in Rosenfels, they did not renew the lease, but then they came back and said that they were going to let them stay there for another two years, and then that was going to be it. So if you like Rosenfels, the next closest one would be the one in Bethany Beach, it's a short drive up Coastal Highway. It's really not far at all. Bad Monkey is busy. That's another one. We've always wanted to try it, but it's so busy. I'm going to go check out uh, Secrets, the new event space that they have put in. It's Sunday, so there's no construction going on. They're really working on it. It's gonna be right there. It's gonna be a wedding, like a wedding venue party space kind of thing, like events, special events. 
And if you remember, the old Odyssey water sports used to be right over there. Wow. All right, we'll keep going. Oh, for all my uh, Ocean Pines people, the Hungry Donut, that used to be a popular one. South side of Ocean Pines, there's, uh, well, there's two sides of Ocean Pines, north side and south side. The south side, there's a shopping center in there. And it's uh, it's got a bunch of restaurants, the bike shop, Pines Pub is over there. Uh, that had, a place called the hungry donut and it was very popular a lot of people liked it uh but they are out of business uh they it was kind of weird they put they put on instagram that they said see you in 2024 and then they're gone uh the whole place is cleaned out ashley and i just went over there the other day to go check it out but yeah the whole place is cleaned out uh and it says for rent so they're definitely gone so i have no idea what happened there Next one up, we're going to go check out the Knicks, the new Knicks uh, mini golf. It's got the big ropes course. I think it's either open or opening really soon, but we're going to go take a look at that. Tell you what, it's good to see everybody coming out now. It's sort of that time of year where everybody starts to come down. A lot of places are open on weekends. Happy Jack Pancake House is busy. I just passed Barn 34. They're busy. So it's good to see everybody coming back out, out of uh, out of the winter hibernation, and that's the new Embers Blue Complex. It's really nice in there. If you ever go in there, definitely check that out. It's really cool. So this is the Nick's Mini Golf. This used to be the old Phillips parking lot, and that's it right there. That ropes course that is huge. Wow. It looks like the the mini golf is not open yet. They haven't laid any of the fake turf that they put down, but everything is pretty much looks like it's pretty much ready to go. And they're putting something up there. I don't know what. That ropes course is awesome. I'm going to go take a look from the other side. This is so cool. So you have stairs that go all the way up and then you do the ropes course. That looks like a lot of fun. I know my kids are dying to try it. The Knicks mini golf places, those are always our favorite. We love them. They do a great job maintaining the courses. The courses are always fun too. So I can't wait to try this one. It's going to be a fun one. And right behind me, fishtails. They're still here. I think they should be opening up soon or maybe on weekends there's a sign up there I'll go check it out we got the tiki boat set up oh yeah here it is open April 24th there you go They have a huge playground in there for kids. That's pretty popular. That's a pretty cool area in itself. See those little yellow skiffs? You can rent those. I think it's like, it's not much. Like 125 bucks or something like that. And you go out in the bay for a couple hours and go fish. It's definitely a cool uh, little complex that they have. You can go charter fishing over there, regular fishing. Uh, they have the little tiki bars over there, all types of stuff. All right, I'm on to the next one. The next one was a surprise to me. I know it will be to you too, and it's actually uh, kind of sad. So I'm going to head over there now, and I'll see you over there. Ooh, is it windy? All right, I don't do hotels. I don't do a lot of hotel updates just because they change hands so much, but this one I kind of have to just because it's so iconic. It's going to be an eight-story, I think it's like a Spring Hill Suites by Marriott. 
So Jonah and the whale will be gone. I don't know when they're going to start building. Usually this stuff takes a while. Permits and all that stuff. But uh, yeah. It was just announced uh, a couple days ago. This one kind of hurts. Because this is like an iconic like ocean city. You know what I mean? The boardwalk's right there. Jonah and the whale. It's always at the end of the boardwalk. So. Yeah. They're closed right now. They should be opening soon. These are like the like classic like old Ocean City menus. Clam, shrimp, fried shrimp, snow crab legs, steamed shrimp, fried chicken. All you can eat snow crab legs. Fried clam strips. I wonder how those are. The other update too that uh, people have been asking me about the Beach Plaza, that's still going back and forth. They resubmitted new plans to downsize it. It's not gonna be as massive as what they had planned. So as far as I know, it's still kind of stalling. They haven't started construction yet or demolition. So uh, as soon as they do, I'll be over there filming it because I definitely do want to watch it. Maybe get some like cool drone footage of it or something. Check out the ocean and the boardwalk. Super windy. I'm assuming Riptide Pool Bar will probably be going too when they go. It's sad. These small like mom and pop hotels are all getting bought out by all the big corporate hotels. So that's it. That's all the updates I have. Really appreciate you watching. Uh, yeah, the Jonah and the Whale, that one kind of got me the most. Um, I always said that once all these small mom and pop ones go away, which eventually you know that time is going to happen, that's when it's going to be sad because that's what I'm, you know, so used to like Hotel Row, all the old hotels, Thunderbird, I think Eden Rock. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's going to be sad when they go, but I appreciate you watching and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.